Hi, I'm Craig Cooden, Editorial Assistant with Make. Wouldn't it be nice to have an internet-connected alarm clock that automatically sets itself based on your calendar or a specific email? That way, you'd never miss an early appointment or forget to set your alarm again. Tony DeCola's Setup for Meetings, Appointments, Reminders, and Tasks, or SMART, alarm clock is designed to prompt you whenever the project software is triggered by an event or notification. The Yoon and Tembu combine to easily integrate with online application programming interfaces, or APIs. For example, you could parse Yahoo weather data, receive PayPal payment notifications, or even submit freeform Wolfram Alpha queries. Hundreds of APIs from Amazon, NPR, Twitter, YouTube, and others are available. Smart Alarm Clock is designed to set alarms using Google's Calendar and Gmail services, but can easily be modified or extended to integrate with other APIs. You'll need the following parts to complete this project, all of which you can pick up at your local Radio Shack. You'll also need a computer with the Arduino IDE software. It's free and runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows operating systems. Okay, let's get started. We don't want to miss our next appointment. Since we'll be communicating with both Tembu and Google for this project, you'll need an account with each of these services. Follow the instructions on the project page for setting up a Tembu account, initializing Google's Calendar API, and setting up Gmail access. Back in your desktop environment, download and install the Arduino IDE if you haven't already. Install the TFT fork Tony DeCola wrote to be compatible with the Arduino Yoon, and then install the touchscreen library. Now for the hardware. Insert the microSD card into the Yoon's card slot. Mount the TFT touch shield to the Arduino Yoon by inserting the header pins of the shield into the pins of the Yoon. The shield won't sit completely flush because of the Ethernet port, but this is okay. And that's it! We're almost there. Use the micro B cable to power up the Yoon. Wait a couple minutes for it to finish booting up and configure the Yoon's Wi-Fi settings. Then you can connect to the Yoon using SSH and run the command provided on the project page to install audio drivers and software. Plug the USB speaker into the Yoon's USB host port. Download and open the Smart Alarm Clock Arduino sketch. Define the necessary values. We've provided our own Annoying Alarm Clock MP3, but you can specify your own MP3s also. Upload the sketch to the Yoon over Wi-Fi. It can take a few minutes, and the Yoon will refresh with the clock image. Great! Now test the Smart Alarm Clock from your Google Calendar and Gmail. After you add events to your calendar, press the Refresh button on the clock. The next alarm should display in the upper right corner. The clock checks your calendar every two hours and will automatically set the next alarm. If the alarm is enabled, but you want to disable, simply press the Cancel button. This will also stop the clock from checking for new alarms for 24 hours or until you press the Refresh button. When the alarm goes off, press anywhere on the touchscreen to turn it off. You can also let others know how to wake you up via Gmail. Check out the project page for more detailed instructions and options for customizing the code. The functionality of the clock can be easily modified by changing the code. Now all you have to do is make an enclosure and rest assured knowing you won't miss your next meeting. Be sure to check out the project page for a lot of useful tips and tricks, and it's also a great place to share your own build of the smart alarm clock.